All right, welcome back to the next video in the series. Last episode, we left off with the interior and trying to get the Pi Dash to work. I was able to get it connected, and I was able to get the files for the cluster and everything. But to install it, I was thinking of putting some USB cables in there to make it easier so I don't have to take the tombstone in and out every time uh, when I have to put the flash drive in. So that should be coming in tomorrow. In the meantime, this is what I picked up from my friend yesterday. Uh, AC compressor, fully rebuilt. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and hopefully install it. Probably won't finish today, but just do most of the work. And here's the open hood. You can see my old AC compressor right there. And I don't know if it's the cost or not, but I do think it might be because I have gone ahead and done a whole AC system rebuild, replace all the seals, gaskets, and everything. And I think this might be the culprit. And you can kind of see that I've gotten rid of the tensioner for the power steering and everything just in a belt directly from the pulley this is in the meantime I do have the supercharger I've thought of putting in before so I want to use the pulley system from that but since I don't have the regular power steering I figure this will do for now and I can get rid of having the tensioner and everything and just like one of my previous videos where I showcased my rear bash bar and the jack point that I have in the rear now I also have one in the front which allows me to take the whole car and lift it up very quickly and efficiently so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out and there it is jacked up guys i did have to use the ramps because i have all four of my jacks holding up this car right here and here's the new ac compressor which i'm also going to go ahead and make sure the lines fit and it's the right one because it might be for an nb so just to make sure great news both of them fit perfectly and flush i haven't bolted them in but this is good because when my friend showed it to me he was actually the hoses didn't really fit in perfectly and that's because he was he was using a and beam me out of hoses so from a newer engine and a newer car so they didn't fit luckily when we do swap ac compressors because i'm do doing this one in to test it and he's going to go ahead and rebuild the one i had on here previously i'm also going to give him the set of hoses that i had that way he can get his up and running so another little loose end i wanted to fix today is my mirror over here it's an active dash cam as well as a camera, a reverse camera. And I do have the backup camera on the trunk. The problem is that I got a message saying no micro SD card, but there is an SD card on it. So I've gone ahead, have another one here that I wiped and I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it on there. So let's do it. Took the old one off and I'm gonna go ahead and put the new one on. This is repairing and it says it needs to be formatted. So let's figure this out. So I can tap here, go to settings format SD and this hopefully this works I think last time I tried it it didn't work with the old SD card take them out I haven't touched it in a very long time so it looks like it did work and yeah it's recording so now we can go ahead and set all the dash cam settings and recording settings overall so let's do that and as I'm finishing up setting up the time and date what I've done is I've changed the resolution to 2.5k by 1080 as well as making sure I have my loop recording setting on. I'm gonna go ahead and do five minutes. So now every five minutes, it's gonna loop the video. And there we go, I finally set it up. It's been a long time. And for mounting this, which I haven't done a how-to or anything, but I have this aftermarket mount meant for other mirrors mounted onto it because this style of uh, rear view mirror, I'm not a big fan of them because they normally have straps that you have to go ahead and strap onto your existing side mirror but I didn't want that big bulky thing so I've gone ahead and mounted it on here hard drilled it in and I got it to work one little loose end now is that the bolts back here for the spoiler a little bit wobbly so I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly tighten those up now one thing I've been meaning to install are these cup holders which you bolt onto anywhere and they fold out because the Miata currently has no cup holders and it's a big pain when you drive so I grabbed it and I'm trying to think of where to put it and I think here's a good location for my car and I don't really care about drilling through the dashboard I mean I've done a lot more to it than just drilling through it so it's fine for me but what I'm thinking of doing is using the existing hole here and drilling one here going like that and then in the bottom if I need to I can put two brass inserts so I can bolt it in if, if needed, but I don't think I will. I think just the top two will be fine. That way I have a cup holder on each side. So let's go ahead, 
for the existing bolt that was there or screw that was there which is this one I'm just gonna go ahead and use a longer one I'm gonna go ahead and drill on the other side here and put a screw on that side as well so I quickly went ahead popped off both ends just so I could use this as a template now we're holding it in there with one screw in and then just mark it on both sides like that so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the drill and just drill it And now I'm just gonna go ahead and screw in the screw in the hole. And I made the hole just a tiny bit smaller than the diameter of the screw. And after doing this, in this bolt here, I don't think I'll use a screw. I'll use like a little rod. So I can still quickly release everything as needed. Or the tombstone like we did in the last episode. By just popping the pin out and then everything will come off. So after putting in the one screw, it's being held now and it functions perfectly. It's a cup holder. I went ahead into random in the bolts I have and screws. And I got these screws to so just try to put one in there. No, I'm not gonna tighten it and I don't have the metal bracket in there because it's just I just want it to hold on with friction. Kind of act more like a pin that I can take in and out instead of just a screw that will hold it in place. That way I can take this whole thing out if I want to. And just like that, I was able to install functional and stable cup holders on both sides. But yeah. And I think the total cost for both of them was like $10 or something. So I'll go ahead and link them and any parts used in the description. And you guys can see the, the leg space right here. So like right now it hits, not while I'm driving, but if I lower it, it doesn't hit at all. So it's good clearance. Passenger side also has a lot of space the way it's mounted. And I tried locations throughout here. And back here but they didn't really make much sense much uh much sense so i figured this is a position that works and i only have to drill one hole instead of four yeah guys so catch you in the next one